Cruz, Robots Gator 143 here with a Halo Anniversary ODST figure review. Uh, this is new by McFarlane. Um, I just wa I went to Walmart, uh, not Walmart, Target with my mom and saw a bunch of Halo, a new Halo Reach figures. They have Series 4, I think, or is it Series 3? Series 4, I want to say, out um, with the Brute, um, all kinds of new, um, a new Grunt, a bunch of uh, custom Spartans, but you know. But I picked up the Brute, and I also picked up, um, I also saw they have Halo Anniversary figures. I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's new, that, like they're bringing back Halo 3 figures. Um, but they're trying to, like, they're celebrating the 10 years of, of, uh, Halo, not Bungie, the 10 years of Halo, and, um, and so they made a, uh, series of that. Here, as you can see, here's the ODST. I thought it was, uh, the Rookie. It's actually not. It's just a regular ODST from, uh, Halo 3, and it says so on the back, but it does look a lot like the Rookie. It's got the blue visor and everything. Um, th these are all the figures in the Halo anniversary. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, they're all from Halo 3. As you can see, they say Halo 3 underneath. And the Master Chief is not even his color. It's like a silver Master Chief. I have no idea what they were thinking. Um, I don't remember seeing a, a silver, metallic, chrome uh, Master Chief in Halo 3. But I think it would have been a lot cooler if they did the regular green. But um, then they have a recon. Uh, I, I saw all of them on shelf. But the only ones that actually caught my attention was the ODST and the Elite Combat um, soldier, elite, combat, alien, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I picked those guys up. I think since they're in, up here on the box, the back of the box is pretty cool. But um, on the back of the box, it tells uh, all the Halo games that came out and what year. So I think that's pretty cool. They are missing one, the Halo map pack, but the Halo 2 map pack uh, DLC disc, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, and kind of something kind of funny is that it says 343 Industries down there instead of Bungie. Nowhere on the box does it say Bungie, so I think that's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, the packaging looks really cool, actually. Um, anniversary of Halo, so. And so here is Lotus T. Um, very basic. Um, it's, it's a decent figure, I'll, I'll admit it. It is pretty decent, but it's got some things that just annoy the hell out of me. Like, it's not as bad as the Rookie, uh, like falling parts and everything, but the I don't know if this was just my luck, but the right shoulder pad um, does fall off. It came off right off the packaging, like it takes nothing to just snap it off, while the left one stays on perfectly. Um, I've had no problem with that one, and um, another thing is that he has trouble holding his BR. Oh, yes, he also came with a BR. That is his only accessory, um, but yeah, BR. Uh, but he... He kind of has trouble holding it, like it doesn't look as natural as it should, but, and this is the best I can have him to hold it, which is kind of disappointing, but, um, yeah. So let's, let's get on to the figure review. So, and as, as I said, um, they're bringing back Halo 3 figures, which is pretty cool. And I picked up the Elite one, um, because, well, um, I don't have a Halo 3 Elite yet, and, uh, since they're selling them in stores for $11.99, uh, I, I thought I'd pick it up, so I did. And watch out for that review. I'll do it, like, really soon. And it should be posted by the time I post this one, so... Uh, post it around the same time. And watch out for my Brute. My Series 4, I think? I don't know. Series 3, Series 4, Halo Reach Brute figure. Look, it's it's awesome. It's an awesome figure. If you don't have it, go get it. But I'll re be reviewing that one, too, so keep an eye out for that one. So let's get on to the figure with articulation. Okay. For articulation, um, this guy's... Uh, it says it's got 20 eight moving parts. Um, yes, but they, it has some issues here. Let me take out the BR. And I'm going to take off the shoulder pad because it gets really annoying and it just falls off. So the head is ball joint, except it's kind of a weird ball joint. Like it can't move all that much. Um, it can go 360 degrees around. I did do it once, but it feels like it's going to snap. Not like the ball joint where you can just pop it off with a ball joint. It actually feels like it, it's going to snap. And I've actually had that happen to my ODST, my other ODST, that came with the Mongoose from Halo 3, and um, the head just snapped off. Um, so the ODST helmet, or head, has never been really good until the Halo Reach um, jetpack. ODST. The head was amazing, except for like this n the neck thing it had. I took it off because you could not move the head uh, with that thing on, and I think it looks a bit better without it. So shows more neck. But um, I'll I'll be comparing those guys later on. But um, and then the shoulders uh, can go around 360 degrees, 
and then it's it can go out a little and then the elbows can can um like do a 90 degree and then straight and it can also uh swivel 360 degrees up at the upper arm and then the wrist uh can swivel 360 degrees around um and both arms have the same articulation the waist has articulation but it's not very good articulation because of all the armor they had to put on it so all it can do is really um spin 360 degrees around except it gets a bit stiff that's what she said um and uh so yeah and it doesn't really go uh, uh back and forth so then the legs these things are kind of annoying um it's got the weird halo legs that they put on them nowadays um i, I think they've always done it but I've never really been a big fan of it. It's kind of like double jointed at the leg, at the upper thigh, so it kind of moves weird. And whenever you want to put it out, it kind of moves like that. Um, but whatever. The knee can bend, um, and it can also um, th uh, spin 360 degrees at the lower um, knee part. So it's, this part's just one piece. Then the foot can also uh, spin 360 degrees around and go up and down. So that's pretty much an articulation. It's actually got pretty uh, good articulation, except for the legs. I don't like the upper leg part. That's just me, though. So here, stand up. There you go. Um, it is pretty good figure for articulation-wise. And um, let's go into detail. The detail on this guy is pretty good, um, except one thing that really sticks out on this guy. I don't know if you can notice with the camera, but um, I think his head is too big for his body. I don't know. That just might be me, but I think they could have made the body a little bigger. Um, the head just seems really big, well, not really big, but bigger than the rest of the body. Because he's got, like, the skinny arms, it's the skinny ODST, not the big, bigger, um, bigger ones from, uh, from Reach. So, it, his head is a bit big, in my opinion, but that just might be me. You, you might not even notice it. Really, on display, you, you won't notice, really. But, um, uh, it's got a blue visor, not like... Not like light blue, but it's the dark blue. I don't know if you can see on my camera, but it is really dark blue. Um, and then it's kind of got a cool camouflage thing going on at the legs and the arms, at the wrist part at least. Um, it actually does look really good on the figure. I really wish they would have picked a different color for the visor though, because blue just doesn't look good on this one. Um, especially the dark blue because he's got all this dark color to it. I don't think the dark blue was a good choice. I would have just gone with the regular black or gray like they did with, um, or the silver that, that they did with the ODST from Reach. So, um, yeah, but otherwise, yeah, detail is pretty good on this one. Uh, it's got, like, um, all the, like, grenades and, and stuff the ODST carry around. And, um, yeah, just some great detail on the armor and everything. So... Yeah, pretty good on our um, articulation, pretty good on detail, um, and yeah, the BR is just a regular BR, it, it's a bit small actually, uh, compared to the DMRs from Reach, this, this thing is like tiny, so I think they could have made it a little bigger scaled, but um, whatever, but it does have some pretty cool designs on it, it's pretty basic, it did come with a peg, so you can um, peg it to the back of his back. Um, I don't know if you can see it. it. Like, there's a hole right there. And you can just snap it in and just boop. So, yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Short and sweet. Uh, actually, it's, I don't know how short it is. It's probably going to be around 8 minutes. But, um, yeah. This is, if, you, if, you, um, if you haven't picked this guy up, I highly recommend because he's an ODST. Um, and it's actually a really good one. It's it's one of the few that they actually made right. It's it's well built except for the little armor thing. That just might be me though. Uh, I got unlucky, but I don't know. And he um comes with a BR. I mean, and he's pretty articulate. He's pretty solid as a figure, so he won't be falling apart on you. Um, and then I honestly think if you have not picked up the ODST from uh, Reach yet, you got to do that. The jetpack one. He is just a great ODST. Yeah, he's not your average um, ODST you see in the other Halo games, but he is he is pretty cool. As you can see, he is quite taller than the the anniversary ODST, um, and he is also a lot thicker and solid than the Halo 3 ODST. Compare them side by side. Um, this is a, um, they're both great figures. So if you haven't picked them up, 
you got to. They're just great. So um, keep an eye out for these anniversary figures. Uh, hopefully they make more because I would like to see them do a uh, do figures from Halo 1, do figures from Halo 2, uh, 3, and uh, well they just did 3. From ODST, like remake the rookie, that would be really great. Make a remake of a good version of the rookie. Um, the ODST rookie, that'd be really cool. And then, um, then that's it. Yeah, I would love to see figures from Halo, Halo One and Halo Two again. That'd be great. Except, um, except from McFarlane, not Joyride. So that'd be great. But um, yeah, keep an eye out for these guys. They're only eleven ninety nine, which isn't too badly priced. But um. Yeah, so check out my other videos, check out my other, uh, my other reviews, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video, and um, yeah, and pretty much leave any comment you want, uh, any questions, any requests for a review, video, you know, you know the deal. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video review thingy, Majig, and um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. And check out my other Halo Anniversary and figure reviews that will be coming around out uh, probably at the same time this is posted, so... Check out my channel for that. All right, thanks, and see you guys next time.